Hi everyone, this is Han Bong Kim from Good Task. On this video, I'll explain widget themes that's been added on version 5.8.6 with some additional widget features. There are several new features on the widget. First, monthly calendar has been added to small size widget. Also, new calendar event can be added to favorites that can be used in favorites widget. In your long tab list widget, you now have multiple calendar options. Calendar background type can be selected from none to type 1 and type 2. Type 1 will cover only weekdays on top. If weekdays are not shown due to small widget size on device, a line will be drawn. Type 2 will fill all month calendar. You can select any calendar or a list for holiday and special option. Date number will be colored for days that have items in selected holiday calendar or list. For special list, the date will be filled. If you have heat map turned on or is on today, the date will have a border instead. Heat map will fill the date with selected color from 1 to 5 range. You can select high and low colors to dynamically adjust the colors. Holiday and special calendar or list data will be fetched from current month regardless of selected view. Heat map will only show data for selected list and view, which means that if you want to use heat map for the monthly calendar, you should select month view to view all the data. All these new features will be great to use with the new widget themes. You can fully customize your widget. Go into settings, appearance, widget themes. Add a new theme. You can set custom colors on various fields and check how it will show right away. Weekdays color can be selected or not. If you choose none, normal calendar text color will be used. Heat map low color can also be selected or not. If it's not selected, it'll be adjusted according to background color. Language can be set separately for the widget too. You can also choose different fonts. Theme that you made can be easily shared. Tap the theme and choose Share. URL link will be made that can be shared easily. Try uploading it on the forum to share it with others. If you tap the link on device with latest Good Task, it'll open Good Task directly and will ask if you want to import the theme. This can be done for normal app themes too from this version. Hope you like the update and enjoy making your own themes. Share it on the forum and check what others have made. Thanks and get it done with good task.